we know that words that are known well behave differently from words that are in the process of being learned. Engagement refers to the ability of a word form to engage in interactive processes such as competition and priming with known members of the mental lexicon. This is distinct from configuration or just knowing facts about a word. Engagement often, but not always, emerges after a period of sleep or rest, which could support learning by allowing for the co-activation of known and new word forms which need to be linked. However, that kind of activation could also happen during training. So we assess this mechanism by manipulating the level of co-activation during learning in a series of two experiments. Broadly, we asked whether interleaved activation of known words supported word learning. So in each experiment, participants learned six words in a high interleaving condition meant to heighten lexical activation and six words in a lower interleaving condition. In experiment one, we were interested in whether global lexical activation of the whole lexicon was enough to support word learning. So the high interleaving condition interleaved phonologically dissimilar real words in between learning trials. The low interleaving condition had a matched non-linguistic task in between learning trials meant to dampen co-activation. We then assessed learning using two tasks. We assessed for configuration using eye tracking and engagement using a behavioral lexical decision task. We used a four alternative first choice task on the reference of the newly learned words in a visual world paradigm to assess for configuration. We predicted that high interleaving conditions would support encoding of the new words, leading to a greater proportion of looks to the correct target image for words learned in that condition. And indeed, we did observe significantly more looks to target for words learned with lexical interleaving, which supports this idea that there's some kind of generalized learning benefit to be gained from global lexical activation during training. In the lexical decision task, we expected words with a newly trained competitor to be recognized more slowly than baseline words. We also expected that words that were more strongly engaged should lead to even slower recognition for their competitors due to heightened competition. Thus, we expected slower reaction times in the high interleaving condition than the low interleaving condition, reflecting stronger engagement for those words. And while there was a numerical trend in this direction, we did not observe significant evidence of stronger engagement in one condition relative to the other. So in experiment two, we asked whether interleaving phonologically similar words instead would boost the learning benefit we observed in the visual world paradigm by highlighting the similarities between the words that need to be linked in order for engagement to occur. In this case, the high interleaving condition involved exposure to a highly phonologically similar word during training, while words in the low interleaving condition did not receive that exposure. Instead, the interleaving was only with phonologically dissimilar words, like in the high interleaving condition from experiment one. In this experiment, we did not observe a difference between conditions in the visual world paradigm, but in the lexical decision task, we did observe significantly slower reaction times for words learned with related versus unrelated training. However, none of the reaction times were significantly slower than the baseline, so we hope to disambiguate this pattern in follow-up experiments. In sum, we found that global lexical activation may benefit encoding and promote lexical configuration, but there's less robust evidence for a benefit to lexical engagement.